The U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments for a Mississippi law that would ban abortions after 15 weeks. A lower court had earlier ruled against that, and now both sides are talking about it, including the pro-life side, which had a rally here in Billings. Yellowstone Valley Christians for Life is one of many groups here in Montana closely watching what's happening at the Supreme Court, a case challenging Roe v. Wade. Dobbs versus Jackson's Women's Health, what that law does is it would make abortion illegal after 15 weeks when the um, tiny little fetus feels pain. Um, so if that law gets decided on by the court to be able to stay in place, that would really nullify Roe v. Wade. The group held a prayer rally along with several others in the country. Our main tool in the tool bag is always prayer. We have to rely on prayer because we can't change hearts and minds, only God can do that. And pro-choice groups are also closely watching. Planned Parenthood also sees this as a significant moment that could overturn the 1973 landmark ruling. It's a sad day uh, for this country. Uh, about 50 years of court precedent are uh, could be undone if the Supreme Court decides to support the Mississippi uh, ban. And the reason why it's so sad is because every person in this country deserves the ability to make their own decisions about their bodies. Laura Terrell of Planned Parenthood says a potential ruling in favor of the Mississippi law would set a different benchmark. The most significant impact of this case is that states will be able to change their gestational bans to 15 weeks. And, uh, you know, although that doesn't mean that states, all states will, uh, it means that they can and, and a majority of conservative states will certainly try. And if the Supreme Court rules that the Mississippi abortion law stands, they say abortion discussion and legislation would go to the states. 26 states are expected to move to outlaw abortion in various ways through state constitutional amendments. In Billings, David J. MTN News.